it's beautiful. And all this coating has made me so hungry. I think I need to order a pizza. Nah, we're gonna write some code to do this. Well, good day subscribers. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be ordering a pizza using code. Now this video was inspired by Jarvis Johnson who made a video ordering a pizza using Python. To switch it up a little bit, we're gonna be using JavaScript. So I'm gonna be using a package called Domino's in order to order the pizza. I have not tried this before, so I have no idea if it's gonna work, but we'll find out. At first, we're just gonna explore the documentation, probably using a fake address and a fake credit card number and just get familiar with how the package works. After we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and actually put my real address and real credit card number and place an order and see what happens. So let's go ahead and jump into the code. If you guys are enjoying the content, please hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Now, let's get into it. All right, so over here on our left, we have the Domino's Pizza API. If we go down here, in order to install it, we need to run this command, but first we actually need to create the project. So if we go over to Terminal, we can just make a new directory and we'll call it pizza. And we'll change directory into pizza. So the first thing we need to do is we need to actually initialize an NPN project. So we can just run NPN init. We're gonna go ahead and just stick with all the defaults and type in yes. So now if we take a look here, all we have is this package.json. So now if we go over to our text editor and I'm using Atom, we see that we have this pizza project with a package.json. So the first thing we can do is just add our new um, JavaScript file. We'll just call it app.js and this is where we're gonna be writing all our code. Now, if we go back to our terminal, we can install the Domino's node package. All right, and if we go back to our project, we see that we have this new node modules folder. We have our app.js and we have package.json and it has dominoes now installed in the project. All right, so let's go back to our app.js. Now, if we go down here, we see that the first thing we need to do is actually find a store that we're gonna order from. So if we look at the documentation, there are several ways we can find a store. Uh, we could do it just by postal code, by city and postal code, We'll go, we're going to go ahead and use a full address. So we can just go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go over here and actually change the address. All right, so if we save that and we go back to our project or our terminal, and we go ahead and we can just run node app.js. And we see that it does return a success. And the thing is, it does return the stores here, but it returns it as an array of objects. Uh, we can go ahead and fix that so it actually shows the stores. So this store data here is the entire object that gets returned to us in the response. Uh, we just want the stores. So we can access that by going to result.stores. So save that. And then we'll run it again. And we see we get an undefined because this stores here needs to be capitalized. So let's go and try and run that again. And we see that we get a bunch of stuff here. So if we go back up, So if we go back up to the top, we see that we get an array of stores and we get a, I guess a store object here. Um, the main thing here is the store ID. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab the first one, which is 4336. So now that we have a store ID, we need to get a store menu. So if we go down here, we see that there's actually, they provide us a friendly menu list, which will be easier to read. So let's go ahead and try that. So save that. Go back to terminal. So let's just go ahead and pick a random item here. Um, let's just say we want a medium, hand toss, Cali chicken, bacon ranch. So we need to go ahead and copy this code here. 
So now if we go down, we see that we also have this customer object that we can create. We have an item object and we actually have an order. So here they actually provide us a template with creating an order. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy all of this and just tinker it how we need. So if we go ahead and paste that, we see that up here we have the pizza API. We have a customer object here, which we call the president, which has first name, last name, address, and email. We have an order here, which takes the president as its customer, takes my store ID, which I'm gonna actually change that to 4336. Delivery method is gonna be a hard-coded string called delivery. It also gives us another way to order, which we don't need. And we don't need to update the store ID, so we can go ahead and delete all of that. Now, if we go down here, we see that we see that we have a way of adding a product to the order. So let's go ahead and copy that. So let's go ahead and change the code there. So it seems like we have an order and we have an item. So we're ready to validate this order. So let's go ahead and copy that. All right, we have order.validate, save, and let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. And it looks like we did it. Cool, so validating an order. So the next step would be if we wanna check the price, and then finally we can place an order. So if we look at the left here, what we need to do is we need to copy all of this. We need to go back to our JavaScript file, paste. So at this point, we have the card number here and we have a payment object that we create called card info. And then we go ahead and add a bunch of stuff to card info like the, the amount, the number, card type, expiration date, security code, and postal code. The, the next thing we need to do is we need to call order.payments and we need to push our card info on there. And finally, what we need, need to do is order.place. Now, obviously this is a fake address and a fake card number, so it won't work. Um, what I'm gonna actually do is go ahead and pause the video. I'm gonna put in all my actual information and the card number, and we're gonna place an order and we're gonna see what happens. So hopefully if it works, we have someone that shows up at my door with a pizza. All right, so I went ahead and put all my information in. I'm just getting ready to push enter to place the order. So here we go. All right, order placed. Um, it didn't give me any tracking number. Um, I probably should have printed that out. So <laughs> yeah, I have no way of knowing if this order was placed. Um, I did put my email address in, but I don't see any email notification. So we'll see if someone shows up to my house in about like 30 minutes or an hour or whatever. So. Uh, Stand by and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Later that same evening. All right, so unfortunately the order did not go through. I did end up calling the location that I ordered from and they let me know that they did not receive any order from my address or my phone number. My guess is that my location is too far away from them because when I did put my address in on their actual website, it said that they don't currently deliver to my location. On the GitHub documentation, they really should have the uh, have them printing out the object that gets returned instead of just saying order placed. Um, or I should have actually just looked at it myself and printed out the object. But nonetheless, I don't have a pizza and I'm still hungry. So it looks like I gotta do it the old fashioned way. But anyways, um, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Oh, if any of you guys do end up using this API and order a pizza from it, let me know down in the comments because I am curious to see if it worked for anyone. But other than that, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.